Welcome back to News for a Great Day. With everything going on in the world, it appears that many things have come to a complete halt. But one thing that has not stopped is cancer. So joining us this morning is cancer survivor Keith Whittemore. Keith, it is so good to see you. Would you please tell us a little bit about your involvement with the American Cancer Society? Sure, Laura. It, it started off in 2008. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I went through my treatments. I found information online about the, uh, through the Cancer Society's webpage about what I was going to go through. And then I wound up uh, getting involved with Relay for Life uh, with other survivors and, and just helping give back to the Cancer Society for what they, they did for me. And along the way, I've, I've been involved with pretty much every role that you can have with the Cancer Society. Um, I've got lots of family members that have been affected by it, friends that have been affected by cancer. And currently I am uh, the board chair for the uh, St. Louis Leadership uh, Board. So it's, it's been part of me for, for well over 10 years now. And I, I, just, I just love uh, being involved and, and getting back to people. And Keith, since you have experienced all of this firsthand, would you please explain the importance of raising funds? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The, the American Cancer Society does a, a lot of things for cancer patients uh, as far as services that they provide to get people to treatments to help them uh, get access to information about what they're going to go through. But they also do amazing research support. And they are the largest supplier of uh, research funding in the world besides the U.S. government. And they kick off uh, so many uh, important research uh, projects for uh, new ideas. There are 47 Nobel laureates that have won uh, their prizes that started off as uh, cancer researchers through um, ACS grants. Mm -hmm. Amazing work that those people are doing. And Keith, since we are in this weird time, so many things have been moved yeah. to a virtual experience. So for Relay for Life, how can people get active and also get involved with the local virtual virtual relay this year? What we ask people to do is, is go to relayforlife.org, find the event in your area. You can use your zip code to find that and find all the ways that they are doing virtual work these days and, and donate and it helps. Keith, we are so glad that you are doing well and KMOV is very proud to be a supporter of the Relay for Life. As Keith mentioned, there are virtual celebrations throughout the entire month of September. And for a complete list, one more time, go to relayforlife.org.